Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make 45 minute beer bread. This simple but hearty bread takes just five minutes to get it in the oven where it will bake for 40 minutes, giving you a delicious warm bread that's ready to eat in just 45 minutes. And it only requires a few ingredients, none of which are yeast. That's right, no yeast required. Instead, we're using beer. Start by preheating your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Then lightly grease a standard nine by five inch bread loaf pan. I like to use a combination of both wheat and white flour because I like the more dense texture, but you can always just use all white flour if that's what you prefer. So I use one and a half cups of all purpose flour and one cup of wheat flour. This is optional, but I like to add in half a cup of old fashioned oats to give the bread a little more texture. Then add two tablespoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, and give these dry ingredients a quick stir to combine. Then we're gonna start adding in 12 ounces or one and a half cups of beer. Kind of add it in slowly and stir it in. Then we'll add in the rest. And you just want to stir it until there are no more dry spots. And it really doesn't matter what kind of beer you use. The only one that will really impact the flavor is if you use a stout, but it'll still work. And then you can just scrape this dough right into your prepared bread loaf pan. I use the back of my spoon to just kind of press it down and get it into the corners and kind of even it out a little bit. Last, you pour two tablespoons of melted butter over the top. I just drizzle it on and it'll pool up. And it really doesn't matter. It'll spread out as the bread bakes. Then we're gonna bake this in the preheated 400 degree oven for 40 minutes. A popular variation for beer bread is to add in cheese. You just add in half a cup to two thirds of a cup of shredded cheese, the most popular being cheddar, but you could also experiment with any of your favorite cheeses. And then if you wanted to bring the heat, you could also add in one minced jalapeno in with your cheddar cheese for a jalapeno cheddar beer bread that's super tasty. Your bread is done when it gets a nice light golden crust on top and a toothpick inserted into the center comes out clean. I let it cool in the pan for just a few minutes and then run a knife around the edges just to make sure nothing gets stuck and then gently tip it out and transfer it to the wire rack to cool. Whoops, that's hot. You wanna let the bread cool for at least 15 minutes before serving. You can serve this up warm, you can serve this up cooled, and it's also super delicious, sliced and toasted. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow, and check out the rest of my videos, where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.